All right. And so let's continue with it. Okay, red one goes right there. And then yellow one goes next to it, like so. All right, so we're gonna do another video on this uh, 2011 BMW 320i, uh, 328i. Is it? It is. So this vehicle, this vehicle came in for um, for faulty FRM. Um, we've seen this issue before, and 90% of the times it's uh, the FRM that gets corrupted. Uh, the, e, the the file on the EEPROM gets corrupted. Uh, there is several tools that can correct the problem uh, but what they do they just uh, grab information from the flash and they create a new EEPROM file so today we're going to show you how that gets done and which tools we use to restore it and hopefully we get it done if we post this video it's because we fixed it if we if you don't see the video it's because we didn't post it so let's uh, remove the FRM and um, and uh, get it on the bench and uh, get it fixed. Part two of this um, video. Uh, this is the FRM that uh, we just got off uh, out of that uh, BMW. We're gonna attempt to repair it. We're gonna open it up. Just like that. working in the back of, on the back of this uh, PC board and uh, we're gonna solder uh, four wires out of that connector I usually have that on my cell phone um, let me see that's gonna be your mind you see repair in full BMW so that's the diagram that we're gonna use. We're gonna solder um, red, yellow, blue, and black. For this, you're gonna need a soldering iron, like that. Some uh, solder wi uh, soldering wire, flux, and some alcohol. So that's my, um, we're gonna prep uh, the pads that we're gonna be soldering on, which is, if I'm not mistaken, let me see. How you should get them right, there you go. So that's one right there. And then this one right here. be soldering that should match the picture right there all right and so let's continue with it for that we can grab these four wires out of my connector I haven't separated with this zip tie this tool does more than this so that's why it's got all, all those wires. So we're gonna do the red one first. Man, 
is freaking. It's freaking hand. Okay, red one goes right there. And then yellow one goes next to it. Like so. And then the blue one goes at the bottom. And black one goes all the way. Alright. We're gonna connect our tool. This one needs a USB wire, which is connected. And of course, it's this one right here on the other side of my PC. That one goes in, and this guy, it's 12 volt. To go on the back. Like so. Four wires, and you connect it like that. And let's see if we can run this program right here. Xprog available, update, update is available. We don't really want to update right now. So we're going to select our on bench programmer and and then click on BMW, then go to FRM, and then go to FRM3. This is a 3 series. Mm -hmm. Let me see, does it say somewhere? Yep. Right. Right there. FRM3. Okay. So we're gonna go in there. Um, can you zoom into the screen? Yeah. I'm not going to record that screen. So we're going to select our EEPROM. This is our EEPROM and this is our P-Flash. So we're going to select our EEPROM and attempt to read it. And it says there is a partition error. So that's usually what the problem is with these modules, right? I mean, the EEPROM gets corrupted, cannot be... Um, it, can, it, there's, um, it gets corrupted, cannot be read. So we're going to switch over to our P-Flash and we're going to read our P flash. And it's reading. It's going to not going to take that long, so we're not even going to fast forward this video. We're just going to wait. And what that happens, I'm going to talk about what happens, what causes this issue. Usually low voltage on vehicle, that's what causes this vehicle. In other words, check your battery and check your charging system. If you have one of this repaired and you put it back on a vehicle with, with, the, with the problem with the battery or the charging system, you might end up in the same situation again. So make sure that you address any battery or charging issues that you have on your BMW or Mini or Mini Cooper, because they share the same kind of module. And make sure those are in order before you put you repaired uh, FRM back in place. So it read um, the P flash. We're gonna save it. Why are we saving it? Because we save every single file that we read. It doesn't matter what it belongs to, if it's a flash, a microcontroller, if it's an EEPROM, a 93, a 25, a 24, and whatever, whatever that you read, you always save your file so you have a backup. So that's, uh, we have our backup already and we read uh, P flash. We're gonna click on this button right here that says repair. And it says that it's gonna tend to repair it. Contact them if it doesn't work. We're gonna click on repair. We're gonna click once. It takes a little bit to do. But most of the times it works like this time has been repaired. That's our bin. We're gonna close this one up and then we're gonna go back to the EEPROM. Now we're gonna read the EEPROM again to verify. Hexpro has a different version from software. Please update and try it again. 
sure I want to update right now. Where the heck is my freaking... Uh, let's... Red Apron, <laughs> and I didn't update it, so I'm gonna go ahead and update it later. But that's um, that's our apron right there. Okay, so at the beginning didn't want to read it. Now it did. So we're gonna hit stop, and like I said at the beginning of the video, we're gonna share what tools we use to do it, and this is well, this is how it gets done, right? So the name of the company that makes this tool, it's uh, Macintronic Hex Pro, right? That's where you. That's what you can. That's what you can search for online if you want to. If you want to invest in a tool like this, if you don't want to invest on something like that, send it out to someone that can handle the repair, and then put it back in your car. And don't forget battery and charging system. So we're gonna end this part of the video because we're still gonna go put it back on the car and make sure it works. Okay, we'll uh, see you in a minute. Wait, it's recording. Yes, dear. All right, forgot to forgot to. Uh, so we're gonna close this. I forgot to mention. I mean, just in case someone's doing this, all right? Because um, this is as important as the first part of it. Well, you're gonna disconnect these wires. Make sure. You hold the wire just like when you were soldering in. You hold the wire. Okay, and then if you have, well you must have some kind of flux, otherwise you're gonna make a mess. Make sure that you get some kind of flux that that flows, but you don't have a messed up hand like mine. One little bit there, and a bit more there. Put some flux in it. Touch them again. If you want to get rid of all the solder, you use a some kind of a soldering braid, probably like this. But we're not gonna use it because we're not gonna get rid of it. What we're gonna do is gonna clean that residue. These are specialty towels. And the name is right there. And that's what you should get. All right. So we're going to put this back together and put it back in the vehicle to continue with the video. ¿Ya te grabó Don Gus? No. ¿Ya lo grabaste? Sí, estoy. Estoy grabando. ¿Estás recording? ¿Estás en Facebook y en YouTube? Sí. ¿Estás ¿Cómo meter una ploguita aquí? So, put it in. you guys don't see how it put it back in you can just watch the video on YouTube
So now we're going to test it. First lights working. Emergency lights. Subscribe, subscribe. So module is back in place. FRM has been installed and you checked it already, right? Yeah. Okay, so we, we have see. lights and the windows that were not working. Okay, windows were not. So that's how you fix an FRM that it's, that it's got um, a uh, corrupted EEPROM. That happens when you have battery issues. So check your battery system, your charging system, so you don't fall into this problem. And if you do, you know what to do now. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.